and welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Songwriters Alive. It is every Monday evening at 7 o'clock on Rocking the Valley and double broadcast out to Tom Cooney Music. It is great to be here every Monday at 7 o'clock for an hour for a great hour of original music and some positive, creative talk about the craft. We have a special guest this week I'd like to welcome, and that's Matthew Gordon from Collegeville, Pennsylvania. Hi, Matthew. Hey, Tom. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. Thanks for coming along. Uh, we've, we, uh, we're a nascent show. We're kind of new. We're on our uh, fourth or fifth episode, and uh, we're focusing on live music and, and chat and getting some great songwriters from the region like yourself. And uh, it's, it's just live and a little bit of free form and some live performance as well. All right. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Great. I will formally uh, introduce uh, Matthew after the first song, but we do like to get right into the music here. And. I'm going to start out with a song for the harvest season. You can see all the late August harvest stuff happening. <clears throat> it's an original I wrote called Come the Harvest. We hoe the row, we plant the seed, arch the bow and pull the weed. We water when parched, trim to help grow. We tend our fields and we hope to sow. Come the harvest, may our baskets fill by our sweat, by our prayer, by our goodwill. We do what we can, we do our best, and we share with this world, come the harvest. We turn the cheek, we sheath the sword, the way of peace. It's its own reward. Everything in life, well, it comes and goes. Living in love is how we sow. Come the harvest, may our baskets fill. By our sweat, by our prayer, by our goodwill. We give love away and we hope for the best And we share with this world Come the harvest Crimson bright gold, orange deep brown the magic of fall will come to this small town. The earth gives her bounty, she fills for spring with compassion for all living things. Come the harvest, the world fulfills the promise of spring with a future to till we humbly pray to do our best and share with this world come the harvest Thank you. Yeah. It's a great time of year. I love seeing everything coming in from the fields and uh, especially the early stuff. I actually love following it during the summer, like which fruits are in, you know, the strawberries first and all that stuff. And you have apples in the, uh, peaches in the summer, apples in the fall, is that right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and the corn's coming in. Oh, my God. It's just, it's just wonderful. Wonderful eating everywhere. Yeah, the corn has been good. Nice sentiments in that song. I want to live in that world. That, that, that world, is, it lose me most of the time. But uh, that sharing world, that's, that's some nice stuff in there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it is actually, um, I, I play, well, when it was not, uh, when we aren't, we weren't all virtual, a couple times a year I, I play at, uh, at the church I belong to here in the Upper Perk Valley. And I started about four or five years ago, and I, uh, the music director invited me, and I said, okay, it's a deal if I get to write one original song based on the theme and readings of the week, if you let me do one original song each time I come. And she said, yes, I was stunned. So, so that was the good news. Uh, the challenging news was I had to come up with an original song, match the exact readings of what was going on that week. So Sounds like and, a, uh, it's a challenge to get the songs written and you get some songs out of it and they get uh, music. Yeah. It's a win-win. It's totally a win-win like that. Uh, so anyway, folks, this is Matthew Gordon from Collegeville, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, he is a folk player, a singer-songwriter, an Americana player. There's a touch of country in the, the bands and groups he plays with. Uh, there's a touch of rock and roll in it as well. Like all good musicians, he's pretty hard to categorize, which is a great thing. Uh, he'll mention some of the folks uh, he plays with. He does play solo. He plays with the Hop and Box Cars, the Silver Shade Sceneries? Scenery. Scenery, excuse me. Uh, you, you played with uh, Jimmy Heffernan and uh, the Ronstadt Gordon Band. And, and Matthew, as far as I can tell, there's, there, 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 there's a bunch of others as well. Uh, I, I want to formally uh, welcome you to the show now. Well, thank you very much, Tom. Yeah, I play with a lot of people. Uh, I, I'm blessed that uh, I, I've met a lot of great musicians that let me uh, tag along. And, um, you know, I've, I've uh, yeah, with like Michael Ronstadt, he's a, just a phenomenal musician that I love to play with. So I snag him whenever he's in town. And um, lately I've been doing a couple of gigs with Jimmy Heffernan, who's uh, like one of my Dobro teachers. And uh, he's, uh, he's, it's just fun to get to kind of play with him and, and since I'm, you know, learning how to play the dobro, I uh, try to pick up some, some ideas from him. And uh, and I do have my own band. We played at uh, Folk Fest last year, the, the Silver Shade Scenery, and that's kind of a, a folk rock band. And then this I, year I, play, I played with the uh, Hop and Boxcars, as you mentioned. Yeah, the, the virtual, what uh, what Matthew's referring to, folks out there, the Folk Fest is, of course, the Philadelphia Folk Festival, the world famous one, which was in its 59th year this year. It was virtual this year, but it's 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 a tough gig to get in the lineup on. You've been in back to back years. That's fantastic. Yeah, with the two different bands, but yeah, that's that's it's been fun. And this year was it really interesting? I thought they did a good job, it being virtual, and uh, uh, I saw some great people. Uh, and it was fun. The, the Hop and Bark Charts. I don't write any of the songs in that band, but uh, really good songwriter Matt Chiquetti that writes all the songs, and it's a it was a lot of fun. I, I'm just the Dober player in that band, but it's I got to got to you know focus on that. It's good to have some. You know, to be a side man, it's fun to have that kind of focus sometimes. I love that sometimes too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is there um, something that uh, um, that you want to open up with? What would you pick uh, first tune today? I'm um, sure. Yeah. I um, I was thinking about what I should play today, and I I uh, I wanted to do something different. So I, I dug up into my uh, old book of uh, lyrics that had not yet been. Uh, finished and uh, I decided to just try to finish it and it's uh, kind of a fun song if I can it's kind of you know having just heard your song now my song is not in my head so I gotta remember how to do that okay okay yeah, I think I remember how it goes now uh, this one's called ATF um, it always amused me that um, the Bureau of Alcohol Tobacco and Firearms I mean that's what a combination of, of, of subjects for one bureau, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. That's just like who thought of that to combine those into one bureau of, uh, of in the Department of Justice? I just always found that fascinating. So uh, anyway, this song is called ATF. Um, Twin 
tailpipes A P-O-W-M-I-A and the stars and the stripes He had a lit cigar clenched in between his teeth As he passed me by, he sipped the beer and winked at me Well, the town called Tobacco and Fire on. He said, it sounds like a party to me Tobacco and fire on. Ain't that the way Jesus wanted it to be? With an iron cross sticker on his license tag and a 30 yard six strap to his saddle bag. Got 35 bottles set up on the back fence One for every hundred dollars that he owes in back rents From 60 yards we've already hit 34 After one more bottle we'll drink 35 more Cause there's alcohol, tobacco, and fire on He said it sounds like a party to me Wonderful. <laughs> I, well, I got that out of my system. <laughs> Thank I, you for that opportunity. I, I got to tell you, uh, you, uh, you said you were taking lessons, I guess, with Jimmy Heffernan. Uh, well, I, I, I went, I go to this, I used to go, well, I, I, for the last five years, this year it was canceled, but for the last five years, I've gone to this thing called Rezo Summit uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, every year. And uh, they have uh, like 20 of the best Dober players teaching. They've had, you know, Rob Ikes runs the thing. Uh, Cindy Cash Dollar's been there. Um, Ivan Rosenberg, Billy Cardine, um, uh, uh, Orville Johnson. Um, wow. Some of the names are escaping me at the moment. But anyway, there's like a bunch of great teachers, Sally Van Meter, um, and uh, he was one of them as well, Jamie Heffernan. So I had a, couple, a few classes with him. And uh, although he lives in New Jersey, so when I got back here, I. Um, uh, I, I had a gig and uh, it was in his neck of the woods and the guy I was doing it with uh, couldn't make it that night. So just on a whim, I asked, hey, would you be willing to do a gig with me? And uh, he uh, he said yes, very happily. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a real treat to play with him. I mean, he's played with Brad Paisley and um, wow. uh, Joe Diffie and all, just all kinds of uh, big stars. He's won a Grammy, actually. That's wonderful. Now, for the, for the folks in the audience, Rezo is short for resonator. And can you explain how that instrument works? Yeah, I'm sorry. This is out of my the screen here, but yeah, this is a this is a resonator guitar. This is an actual uh, Dobro, uh, Dobro brand Dobro. I guess I've covered up the the logo in my tuner, but uh, yeah. it's a it's a Dobro brand uh, Dobro that I've got playing here today. This is a Model 60, uh, and what it is, uh, this hubcap thing you see here is uh, just the cover plate. Underneath there is a um, 
cone that uh, it, it obviously uh, it, um, it uh, vibrates with the, the sound. It's got a bridge that vib makes the cone vibrate uh, saddle. And then uh, these are just sound holes and it's pretty much hollow inside. Uh, and and uh, it was originally uh, invented before they had electric guitars in the, uh, the 20s, I guess it was, and uh, by uh, T the T T P Do Piero brothers, and that's why it's called Do Bro, Do Piero brothers. Uh -huh. And they, they also uh, started, I think uh, they also were affiliated with the national uh, company, but um, which made more, they're more famous for steel body guitars. Do Bro is more famous for uh, wood right. body guitars. But uh, it has a, it's a unique sound that it survived even after electric guitars were invented. It was the, the, before electric guitars, they needed something to compete with banjos because banjos were, as you know, just uh, un, unbearably loud and uh, something had to be done to uh, I agree. put them back in their place, I think. So, um, so yeah. oh, Greg Booth is another teacher and he, 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 has, he plays both dobro and banjo and, and, uh, and it's kind of funny, you know, he says that he, he says a lot of times that his dobro friends will say, you know, why do you play both dobro and banjo yeah. and he'll say well so it's so that when i you know when i put the banjo down i don't have to hear that stinking thing <laughs> i agree <laughs> now um, um, a lot of folks in the audience are, are probably familiar with allison krauss and i think jerry douglas is her yes uh, yes he and he's been at their Reza summit uh once he gave kind of a special class he's a he's kind of a superstar he is the the ambassador of dobro -ness. uh he is the, the most famous dobro player i think ever yeah. Um, so yeah, and he's he's just phenomenal. Now, uh, here's a question: Was that the first instrument you ever learned? Oh no, absolutely not. I, I uh, my uh, first instrument was um, well, my first instrument was probably the trumpet, which I don't play anymore. But um, uh, I play. Uh, I had you know, I was in band or or maybe I don't know. It was about the same time, I guess. I, I uh, my sister bought me a guitar. I was a real big Beatle fan. You might have seen a picture on Facebook of me with my plastic Beatle guitar before I, 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 I played it. But, uh, but yeah, so I played guitar for a long time and, uh, and that was my, my first main instrument. Uh, but I really enjoyed the dobro. It's, uh, it's just so much more fun to play. And I, I, I really, I've kind of surpassed where, I mean, I'm not that great at dobro, but I surpassed whatever I, I was on guitar. Um, your, your dobro playing, I have to tell you, is wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you. It's very kind. Yeah, it it is. Uh, it it strikes me. Uh, it strikes me as an instrument. Uh, it's a lot like listening to a flat picker on the guitar. They're playing the chords. They're playing the fills, and they're breaking off to do a little bit of lead work, all pretty much at the same time, fluidly. Yeah, that, well, that's the that's actually the goal. I mean, you, you know, to make it. Uh, one of my teachers uh, used to talk about how you have you have the whole band here. That the bass notes are your bass guitar. Your high notes are the lead guitar, and then the other notes are kind of the, the rhythm section, um, the piano or whatever. Uh, so you, you try to be all those things with the band. I I, uh, I don't. I it's very kind of you say that. I, that's what I strive for, but I don't think I've actually reached it. But at least I fooled you for. Uh, <laughs> so that's good. Well, I, I, that's that, that's the great thing about stringed instruments. I've only been playing guitar since I was thirteen, and and uh, I, I think in another couple of decades I'm going to be able to do okay on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and then uh, just to make things more complicated for myself, I just uh, actually from I bought from Jimmy Heffernan. I bought uh, his pedal steel guitar, a Showbud double neck, which uh, wow. that is the most impossible instrument. It's crazy. It's got ten strings, and you know, Dobro's only got six. They're tuned crazy like the high string isn't even at the high end of it it's it's in the middle mm -hmm. and uh and it's nuts there it's you, and they've got you've got three you know for the e e neck you got three pedals and s five or six lever knee levers and wow nuts and then you got the volume pedal and i'm and I, so i decided I, i'd take that up i'm you know i just turned <laughs> when i turned 60 and I, there's no way i'll ever master that before i uh you actually just posted uh, uh, your attempt, a good attempt, at a very famous intro on a pedal steel within the last couple of days on Facebook. Right. I, yeah, there was a guy, uh, a guy Evan. I don't know even know him, but he posted somewhere on Facebook a a, uh, a clever little way to imitate that that lick uh, on the dobro. And so I, I well, actually used it on a lap steel. And uh, so I, I, you know, it's just like a a one thirty second. Uh, riff and he taught it and uh, he was a really good teacher and uh, so it was really inspiring I, I gave it a try and you know that was my project for the day and uh, finally nailed it so I was so excited I posted it on Facebook like my new baby <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. 
All right, um, I'm going to get on to the second round of music, and uh, as this is uh, Songwriters Alive with Tom Cooney, my special guest this week is Matthew Gordon. We're on every Monday at 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock Eastern Time in the evening, and uh, we're live on Rocking the Valley and a number of other extended pages, and we're live on Tom Cooney Music as well. Uh, we appreciate your comments and your likes and your shares. As, as Michael Duck, not for Coltrane, said, let our digital overlords know what we like. So they'll, so they'll keep, they'll keep Emma's, Emma's play some good stuff. This next song I'm going to um, play is called The Diamond. And it's a song about a female character who has been quietly growing and quietly biding her time from so many challenges. She wraps the sunrise round her shoulders sweeps the stardust from her eyes lets the morning wind blow through her hair thinks what a gift to be alive alone but never lonely she treasures the peace she has found the expectations Hurt the anger, they lay hard on the burning ground. She's the diamond in the deep dark rough, sheltering a true burning love. She's learned to do what she loves, she loves what she does, she's ready for the wonder. Of love's honest touch, she's the diamond in the rough. sunset she lays vespers on the wind today is now yesterday tomorrow must wait to begin she wraps a blanket of stars round her shoulders she lets the moon be Of new worlds coming to life She's the diamond in the deep dark rough She's sheltering her true burning love She's learned to do what she can Love what she does She's ready for the wonder Of love's honest touch She's the diamond Sheltering a true burning love She's learned to do what she can Love what she does She's ready for the wonder Of love's honest touch She's the diamond
Very nice. Thank you. So is there a story behind that one? The person you have in mind? Uh, Compositive characters. Yeah, it's the songs, as you know, are like that. They can be very specific or they can be a composite of a bunch of experiences or people. Uh, really? the, the thing the, the thing that I, I, I like about that song is is um, it speaks to a really neat part of, of, uh, of people as they're coming out of out of a bad relationship or a bad period of their life where they are they are working within and being patient and doing all the right things. And they're at this part where they're ready for change or ready for something new, but they're doing it with a pretty strong core where they're kind of settled inside. So I was trying, that song was trying to speak just to, to that moment where the work is, the hard work is done and things might be happening. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got that. Yeah. I, nice. I noticed in your songs, one of the themes uh, uh, seem to be relationships as well. Oh yeah, I have a history of bad relationships. So, <laughs> but um, but uh, you know, you I was gonna play a, a song about a relationship, but since you uh, mentioned that idea of a uh, composite um, characters in a song, I think I'll play a different one. Um, this is a. Uh, I wasn't planning to play this, but the, I, I think you bring up a good point. Like this was uh, this is a song about somebody, uh, actually several people that died within a short period of time. One of them being my sister, one of them being a friend, and then uh, and then uh, just yet yeah, just today I found out that uh, Justin Towns Earl died, which uh, saddens me as well. Uh, but uh, this is a song about um, about that kind of loss, and uh, it's a kind of a composite. It's not really about any one of them in particular, but it's about all of them, and uh, it's just the way I kind of saw them. So uh, it's called Easter Sunday.
sitting in the Mexican rain on a Pennsylvania doorstep with a car that's getting nowhere on the Easter Sunday. That's wonderful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it, it, it's hard playing sad songs sometimes. Yeah, it's emotional. Yeah, yeah, it is definitely. Um, uh, that is uh, uh, also something. Was that one of the songs that was up on Reverb Nation? Uh, I don't remember what I've got up there. It's quite possible that I put that up there. Um, uh, I don't remember, but it's on. Uh, I did that with my the previous band, the Barn Swallows. It's on the, the CD there. Got it. And, yeah. uh, uh, Reverb Nation is, is, uh, looks like it's the main spot where people can find your, your music, Matthew. Uh, yeah, that's that's uh, the main thing. I try to keep that updated uh, with my gigs and whatnot. And uh, it's got, you know, when I, I come up with a new song, it's easy to put a song up there. I also have a band camp um, uh, with the Silver Shade Scenery stuff. It's uh, You would go to Silver Shade Scenery, all one word, Silver Shade Scenery all one word dot bandcamp dot com and i have uh my newest song quarantine blues up there and also um my uh, uh the our folk fest set we put up there is we had a really good recording of that so uh, so available for free streaming or download if you're so inclined excellent yeah and on reverb nation it's matthew gordon correct uh yes reverb nation dot com slash matthew gordon two t's two t's yeah now what is phantom engineer and is that you? <laughs> that is, uh, that's my uh, that's that's my alter ego when it comes to my YouTube channel. That's not um, I put up a lot of uh, YouTube uh, videos, not not just of me, but of friends when I see them play, uh, sure. uh, and uh, myself, my own band, and then some other you know whatever I catches my fancy. So, Got it. Yeah, Phantom Engineer on YouTube, and I think I have a, an email address associated with it, though I don't use that. Um, Got it. Good. And, and from your Reverb Nation page, you, I can actually see the links to some of those YouTube videos as well. Right. Right. Good. Yeah. I, I, I saw Quarantine Blues was up on your Reverb Nation page um, and, and, and there was a video of it. A bunch of other stuff that you would really enjoy listening to out in the audience. There is a great song called All Right. There's another <laughs> one called Phoenix. If I Stumble, If I Fall is a wonderful folk tune, as is part Parentheses, what is friendship? Yes. Another folk like song and a couple of other really good ones, you know, see what tomorrow and faith. There's all kinds of really good stuff when you go hunting Matthew's music. You'll you'll really enjoy it. Well, thank you, Tom. It sounds like you really did your homework. I appreciate that. I was great homework, great listening. <laughs> I don't mind this kind of homework. <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, that's good. Uh and uh we already covered the topic of band, kind of. But seeing seeing how many there are, I have to ask you: Are there any that we missed before I close that topic? Um, let's see. I I also um, sometimes play with um, uh, the Lost Local Boys. Uh, we we play at um, the Somebody Tavern sometimes, but that's been kind of shut down since the COVID. Uh, so uh, I can, you know nothing's coming to mind right now. But I I mean I play I played with a bunch of different. Oh, I used to well. That used to be, but so I won't. I won't listen to all the bands I used to play, but but that's uh, I I play with Sarah Sarah Napolitan. We we, we were doing. Um, I was used to play with her band sometimes as a, a guest, uh, Sarah and the Arrows, and uh, and then since then we we play at the hospital for musicians on call, but that's been shut down now with COVID too. So uh, yeah, I, I uh, those are my main things. Is uh is right now is hopping box cars and silver shade scenery and and my solo stuff like tonight. Super. Oh, uh, and one other uh, uh, public presence one we missed was Facebook, and that's Matthew Gordon Music on Facebook. Correct. Yes, that's that's probably the one I kind of um, I keep that pr probably the most active, even more than the Reverb Nation. So yeah, if you're on Facebook, obviously not everybody's on Facebook. Facebook, yeah. but um, if you are, then that's where to see me, Matthew Gordon Music. Got it. Super. All right. Excellent. Uh, you did mention a, a, a couple of places that, uh, that you've played. And uh, uh, Matthew, obviously, being someone who plays with a lot of folks and has been playing for a while, he's he, he plays at a lot of different places. We did mention the Philadelphia Folk Festival the last couple of years and a, a number of other folk related venues. That I'm sure folks in the audience might re, uh, might uh, re recognize the Bluebird, uh, the Mermaid Inn, Coffee Talk, Cafe Improv. 
many different wineries and breweries, which is which are great gigs. Uh, they're kind of laid back. They're a lot of fun. Are there any particular venues that, that that you like to frequent, or now that things are opening up, you might be heading back toward? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. I I, uh, I like playing in the, in the little brew pub in town, uh, the Kirshner Brothers. I uh, just played there most recently with uh, Michael Ronstadt. Um, and uh, we have a, I have a gig uh, coming up um, uh, with the Hop and Box Cars. We're, we're playing, um, uh, uh, well, actually, I'm playing with Matt Cicchetti of the Hop and Boxers. We'll play at the Freecon Orchard on September 20th. Uh, I like that. That's a fun gig. People come out and pick apples, and we play kind of country, bluegrass, acoustic music. Uh, oh, then. Uh, that orchard in. What? What town is that orchard in? Oh, that's in uh, Boyertown. It's uh, out of, uh, out of, outside of Boyertown, and uh, um, you can I'll, you can learn about that on my Facebook page. I'll put that up in a couple of days. Uh, then we're also the Hop and Box Cars are playing at uh, the um, Cannabis Festival in Cutstown. Not that I want to uh, endorse uh, anything illegal or uh, or anything like that, but I uh, I uh, it's we're, we were hired to play there, and it's. Uh, it seems like it'll be. It's actually a family event, and uh, uh, they, this is their fifth annual. Uh, I guess they promote um, legalization, also hemp products and other things like that. Um, so uh, it's a uh, that'll be an interesting gig, and in, uh, on October third. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot of uh, gigs uh, going on right now. Um, yeah. But I always like to play. I'll, I'll enjoy playing with the Mermaid. Hopefully, that'll reopen at some point, and. Uh, uh, yeah, that's very unique. I have I've, I've played it with my acoustic blues trio. It was a it was a gas. So we had some great uh, great local musicians sit in for a few tunes. It was just a wonderful evening. Oh, what's your acoustic blues trio's name? It's called the Acoustic Blues Project. Oh, nice. nice. We're out, out of Lehigh Valley. That's with uh, Earl Andrews on harmonica and Leon Bonham on bass. Oh, I have not heard that side of you. I'd, I'd like to hear that. Yeah, yeah. N nothing wrong with the blues. <laughs> No. Take them though sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Oh, well, one other um, uh, show besides the Philadelphia Folk Fest, I noticed you played a, a couple times at least was X Fest, and what is that? Uh, X Fest is a um, oh that's a that's a fun group of people. Yeah, I, I um, actually won an award uh, in two thousand was it two thousand nineteen I guess last year. It seems like decades ago, but I won uh, the award a uh, song 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 of the year or songwriting of the year or something like that and uh, so I got that award and they, they had me at their festival I was introduced by Gene Shea um, and uh, and so yeah so maybe it was 2018 I guess I don't know. but anyway uh, um, yeah they, they're a good group and they have in fact they have an event uh, I think it's next weekend uh, at the Country Creek Winery they'll be playing uh, Gene Smith band a friend of mine is playing there but yeah they, 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 they the, 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 they're a group of people there a lot of them are kind of uh, affiliated with the originally affiliated with the Philadelphia Folk Fest, but they kind of uh, see themselves as a little more uh, edgy, uh -huh. and, and it's uh, kind of like um, folks. Is that the extreme yeah, folk fest folks? Ex yeah, extreme. It's but it's more extreme. It's a little they you know they they it's kind of punk folk. I mean, you have like um, you know I can't think of like they last year they had a band I really loved from New Rhode Island at the festival called Bitter Pill, uh, and from around here they had River Bones or you know some of the more edgy. Um, not not typical folky, um, you sure. know, sentimental types, but more edgy, uh, a little hard driving uh, folk, and so it, it, it's a lot of fun. I I I, I feel a compadre, you know, simpatico with those people. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, that that, that is a, a great a great litany of different venues and and uh, different places and and bands and different songs and different places where folks can find your music. We'll recap where they can find your music as we get toward. Uh, toward toward the end of the show this is songwriters alive with tom cooney it is monday 7 p.m eastern time we are live our special guest this week is matthew gordon and we're live on fate on rocking the valley on facebook and that pages out to other pages from there we're also live on tom cooney music on facebook as well um, I'm let's get on to the third round of music, and I'm going to uh, start it off and let me spotlight my video. There we go. I'll try to remember to do that. Uh, this is a song I wrote uh, in the beginning of June. Um, that. Um, 
kind of speaks for itself. It's called From One of God's Creatures. And I'm playing it tonight because of yet another similar incident that has happened nationally within the last 48 hours. Mouth agape, eyes frozen on my screen. A crime against nature, another protector choking the life from one of God's creatures. While he begged, while he gasped, while he called the ghost of his mother, three accomplices looked away as if they were not like the other. He let go of his last breath, commanding his spirit home. And in heaven and on earth, righteous anger, it'll rose. Now, Michael, the archangel, he called forth his heavenly hallway for he knew that the devil is only cast out by the word and the angels came upon us and they woke those hearts of stone and that rough god came riding a blind and a light on his justice throne and the haters and evangelicals cried He's finally come a friend But then the light of the truth shot through them And they were scared to meet their The battle was long and it raged For the darkness had many evil doers They had to use their golden privilege To institutionalize their power Michael called forth humankind To shift the balance of the fight This is your world to save, he cried you must ride with us tonight This is for all, this is for one For George and Sandra and Trayvon It's for the day the knee is on your neck For this to never happen again And we rose one force, one mind One heart it truly did seem but then my eyes were opening slowly As if waking from a dream My forgive Eyes frozen On my screen A crime against nature Another white protector Choking the life from one of God's black creatures While he begged, while he gasped While he called the ghost of his mother Three main accomplices looked away As if they were not like the others He let go of his last breath Commanding his spirit home And in heaven as on earth Righteous anger it arose Thank you, Matthew. I can't believe I have to play that song again.
Yeah, it's uh, it's disgusting that, that these things. And then you know, how hard is is it to say Black Lives Matter? I mean, it's like it's obvious. You know why? I don't understand the. I don't understand a lot of things, but. Yeah, if 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 they fully did, people wouldn't have had to say it. Right, and that's yeah, that's what they don't get, you know. Yeah, it's it's it is tragic all the way around because, as everyone knows, uh, law enforcement has a tough job, and it's 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 a mess all around. It's very sad. Oh yeah, no, no question that it's a tough job, and uh, and most most cops are are good, of course. I, I, um, they should all they should all be aghast at the bad ones. And uh, ho hopefully they are. I mean, that that cop is no longer on the force. Uh, uh, and the, the Brian Insignia, who uh, you mentioned, Sandra Bland, and uh, he's gone from the force. So yeah. there is uh, some justice. Yeah, and you know, uh, justice is the way to peace, is the old saying. So, and I guess that's something uh, all artists of all all kinds do. As musicians, also, we try to speak up when we can if, if we think we can and so that's kind of a good thing uh before we transition to the last round uh you you've been involved in a number of really neat projects uh and uh i've had the the, the fortune to be involved in a couple of them uh, one of them you have just hosted the 18th consecutive year of the Bob Dylan Birthday Bash. This year was actually virtual, and it's been associated with Coffee Talk in Norristown, and it, it's, it supports a uh, wonderful charity there. Can, can you talk about that, and, and how has this gone on for 18 years? This is amazing. Yeah, uh, I, I, I do actually, this is kind of a, a sticky point with me, but I do believe it's the, it's the longest running one. There is another one that claims to be the 18th, but I remember that they kind of jumped from the 10th to the 15th <laughs> in one year. But I love that one too, and I got to play at that one uh, uh, la uh, last year, 2019. And that's a terrific one. Uh, this the Coffee Talk, what that was about is I, I'm a huge Bob Dylan fan. I don't like use, use the word fan very much, but uh, I'm definitely a fan of Bob Dylan. Uh, um, and I just think he's the, the world's greatest uh, you know, songwriter. I mean, it's beyond songwriting. It's uh, it's just so, it's such a part of the um, of society. It goes beyond mere songwriting. But anyway, so I, I started it um, uh, back in uh, whatever year that was, 19 whatever, that 18, 18 years ago, uh, with uh, Alex Eigen at, at Coffee Talk and my family at the time. And uh, and uh, been running it ever since. The idea of it was more, was mainly to, was not so much to have, you know, star performers, uh, with a, with a lineup in advance and people coming to, to watch, but it was more to have the people in a group, in a song circle, uh, who also all shared Bob Dylan, uh, you know, admiration of Bob Dylan. And that's really what it is. Uh, I mean, the people that, there's people that have come every year, every, all 18 years, and, uh, and some that have come, you know, have joined in and they've been coming every time. And they're, they're true Bob Dylan fans and, they, and, they, and a lot of them try, you know, dig up the most obscure songs. We try not to repeat any uh, even from year to year, let alone within the, the year. Uh, and Alex is just a, a wonderful person. She it's kind of a salon for people to uh, you know develop community in Norristown, and uh, she's she's really created a, a a real a real thing there. And uh, my hats off to her. And she's she's struggling right now with um her, the loss of her husband this this year, and that kind of a pre was just right before the uh, that this year's virtual bash, and she's also struggling with some health issues, but. Uh, hopefully she'll come through that but anyway yeah it's been a, it's been a wonderful thing and uh, you know I, I every year I try to learn uh, you know three or four new songs of his that I haven't played and uh, there's so much depth there to his his music and his latest record I think is his best yeah um, very interesting yeah uh, last uh, uh, fall you organized the uh, the Peace Project for Philadelphia Area Songwriters Holiday Release Project. It involved 24 different artists doing 24 different songs. Again, I was fortunate enough to contribute an original song to that. And it was the Philadelphia Entertaining <laughs> Artists. Yes, per Philadelphia Entertaining Artists Community Enterprise or e Endeavor or something like that. Again, they were mainly just to make it add up to peace. Exactly, of course, but... and and the that uh, benefited uh, Phil Abundance and Habitat for Humanity, and there was a third one as well. Uh, musicians on call, yeah. The um, I uh, it was equally divided uh, between those those three charities. Um, 
uh, actually, it was a little unequal because there wasn't we didn't raise that much money, but uh, whatever we had, um, it was it was uh, more more was given to Phil Abundance and um, slightly more to Phil Abundance and uh, what was the other one you said? Uh, Habitat for Humanity. On, and Habitat, yeah, Habitat for Humanity of, of uh, Montgomery County, uh, which is based was based in Norristown, and then uh, some of it went to uh, musicians on call. Uh, so yeah, the idea was to to uh, I mean. You you contributed a wonderful song, um, the dream of the baby Jesus. That was really beautiful, and we had so many terrific contributions. I guess I think you said twenty four. I think there was actually twenty six, if I recall correctly. Yeah. But um, but they were there was such it was such a it's still available um on Bandcamp. That's at, at uh, peace dot our peace two thousand nineteen dot bandcamp dot com. And uh, it's it's a wonderful set. You don't have to pay anything to get it, but if you contribute, the money will uh, right. you get to contribute to those 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 charities. So, folks, as as you go out there and uh, look at Matthew's stuff, and you'll see there's also uh, in addition to these different projects, there's there are, there's a lot of good charity stuff that he has put himself out in front of and and done yeoman's effort on. I've got to tell you, it's a lot to get these things on. Everyone thanks you. It's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it's a labor of love, and, and uh, you know everybody that contributes songs. I you know I, especially in these times, it's it's so nice to like I too recently took part in Emily Joy Goldberg's. Um, she had one for um, about COVID, and uh, just to be part of that and interact with other musicians. And today with you, it's uh, it's it's just something that uh, that's the thing I miss the most uh, through this COVID is you know I'm not you know like a lot of musicians, I'm kind of antisocial in some ways, so. Music is the only thing that uh, that uh, really I I, I I I live for, and um, so you know it's that's taken away a lot. You can't go out as much and see live music. So a lot of it's done through these these um, virtual things, and it's just wonderful to be able to, to interact with you. And uh, it is fantastic. I I want to thank you again for being our guest. And before you take us out with your last selection, again this is Matthew Gordon. You can find him on Reverb Nation. That's Matthew Gordon. Dot reverbnation.com is that the correct order? Uh, no, it's uh, www.reverbnation.com slash Matthew Gordon or on Facebook just uh, look up Matthew Gordon Music. Got it. Um, and Bandcamp, it's uh, Silver Shade Scenery at bandcamp.com. Got it. Super. And uh, do keep an eye out for his songs. They're wonderful and his projects. Thank you so much for, for coming on board. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks so much for having me. I guess I'll um, take it out with this. Uh... I didn't really decide what I was going to play until just now. Uh, this one's called uh, I've Never Been This Old Before, But I'll Never Be This Young Again. What was that noise? Just be quiet for a second. Was it some kind of room that the cat laid in? Did I leave the door open? I mean, I just came in, welcome in, relax, and join me. I'm just sitting down, I'm just trying to keep going. It's good to see you, my dear friend. Never been this old before. But I'll never be this young again. Sometimes I feel so tired with the weight of the world. People everywhere up front with their flags on the road. So many diseases that can never be cured. People believe in every crazy idea they've ever heard. I'm just minding my own business. Cause I got a helping hand to land. I've never been this old before. But I'll never be this young again. Yeah.
Thanks again for being our guest. Hey, Steve Jones, you're back with us. How are you? Steve?